شكرا يا رب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه وذريته تسليما كثيرا أما بعد Today I would like to remind myself and you insha'Allah the, 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 the law of the law of universe Allah created us with two things First of all there is irada taqdir kawni wa shari'i There are two taqadir so first, Kauni, we don't have choice. Allah, whatever Allah created, you have to follow. You cannot say, I get tired to listen with my ears. I'm going to listen with my eyes. You can't say, Allah created this way, you have to. Shari'i, taqdir, irada, it's Allah gave you choice. Choice. Allah says, this is my sharia. If you follow, drink halal, eat halal, marry to halal, you're going to be successful. But you have a choice. If you choose to follow Sharia, Sharia, you're going to be successful. If you choose to be misguided, you're going to be misguided. So those two, Kauni and Sharia, Irada, has one specific law, which is evil will serve the good. Evil, evil action or evil people will serve, must serve for the good or for good people. How come? Look. In order to reach to the goal, let's say, start from ourselves, ourselves, inshallah. In order to be in this life, we had almost two million salmons, salmons which used to be with us. But those two million salmons helped us to reach to our goals, to goal. Same thing in. If you're going to give example, let's say in order to drive, you have to have a gas, gasoline. And those gasoline is supposed to be burned. Supposed to burn for you to reach to the goal. So basically today's nasiha was about hasad. Hasad, envy. Those people who does envy, has envy towards you. That means they as if they are as if gasoline for you to reach the goal. How come? Let's look at the history. When Adam alayhi salam was created, Shaitan, Iblis, back then in Jannah, used to be one of the Imam of uh, Malaika. Even though he was from Jinn, but he was amongst the Malaika, angels. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him to bow down to Adam, he had hasad. Envy. Why? Who is he? I'm not going to bang that. Since then, he came to the earth. First of all, he's going to go to Jahannam forever. He, since then, he came to the earth and helping Bani Adam to reach their goal. How? In order to be shaheed, in order to be prophet, in order to be alim, scholar, shaitan supposed to burn. He will do his part in order for you to reach the goal. Same thing Yusuf salam and his brothers. Those ten brothers helped him to be in the same position where is he, where he became. Wise president, minister of Misr, Egypt. How come? Because they did their role. They supposed to do, throw to the well, all, you know, the history. They did for him to reach the goal. Exactly the same thing happening with us. If you want to reach the goal, be whatever you have to be, those people who are around you has envy, hasad, and those bad, evil actions will help you. How? Burn. Be gasoline for you to reach the goal. I gave you example uh, you know, in Surah An-Kabood, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Alif la meem, ahsib al-nasu ay yutraku ay yaqulu amanna, wa hum la yuftanun. Those Muslims, Allah said, if, when you said, I'm mu'min, I believe in Allah, you think Allah will not gonna go through this process, fitna, and you're gonna, he's gonna leave you alone? Allah says, no. Indeed, 
We, I, Allah, I test them, those, who pass, those people in the past, and I will test you for you to know who you really are. For you to show, indeed, are you kazab, liar, or you sadiq, truthful. Allah will show you through this process, fitna. In Arabic language, in order to gain, in order to reach, to have the gold, they have to burn the sand. They have to burn the sand to gain the gold. Right? So this process called fatana. So we call them fitna. Until you don't burn this, you're not going to reach, you're not going to gain the gold. Even though gold, there is a gold, but between amongst the sand. So we need to go through this process. This is a life. This is the law of Allah. You cannot say, why there are bad people? Why he's envy to me? Why? Yeah, first of all, we're not calling him to do the envy. Envy is kufr. Basically, you're saying to Allah, Oh Allah, this guy does not deserve whatever you gave him. I deserve. Take from him and give me. You, as if you're telling this. Envy. This is kufr. You cannot say this. Allah knows whom to give what. And is alim. You cannot mix with Allah's decision. It's not your choice. But know that if someone does envy to you, no, he's acting as a gasoline for you to reach to your goal. Inshallah. So this is the law. First of all, we have to know hasad is really bad, really, really bad thing. Haram, kabira. And in case if something happened to you, someone has enemy, you have enemy, know that it will help you to reach to your goal. Inshallah. So this was short, kindly reminder for all of us. In case if we have these problems, we have to come out from the situation properly, inshallah, wisely, knowingly, and do not mentioning, oh, you have hasad again. No, no. no. As Yusuf, alayhi salam, Yaqub, alayhi salam, told his sons, you know, ten sons, I'm afraid to give my Yusuf, young boy, to you. Perhaps while you was playing, you will be ignorant and wolf will come and eat him. Wolf so-called, you know. He knew that those kids, 10 kids, brothers, has hasad, envy against Yusuf. But he never told them. He never told, you guys are, you have envy against him. No, no. This is a strategy. This is a da'wah for parents how to bring the kids. If you feel that, don't mention. Don't say you have hasad against me. Say wolf, basically. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us, increase in knowledge and iman and taqwa. Those brothers and sisters, by the way, burning, dying, those killed in Gaza and Palestine specifically, don't think they're gasoline. Don't think. They're reaching their goal, by the way. Those Zionists, Yahud, Najas, those Kuffar, Zalimun are gasoline for them. They're not don't even tell Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says them do not tell about those who mar martyred killed in the battlefield they don't tell them dead they're dead no they're alive Allah said they're alive you cannot say about them dead according to our Islamic knowledge they are reaching their goal they're not gasoline Yahud Zionist terrorists are the, the gasoline they de they're doing the, the, the bad things. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala parash them, curse them, remove them from the entire world. Let's make dua for brothers and sisters, specifically one sister, uh, Gulnaza, he became, she became sick and she in Turkey. Now she's requesting to make dua to cure her. And for those brothers and sisters, I specifically communicated with them today. One of the Ghazan people, Muhammad Handi, he was, uh, his arm was amputated uh, a couple months ago. When we went, uh, we saw Alhamdulillah him, we communicated with him. Until now we have communication. So he said, I have a little bit of pain. I have a little bit of difficulties. Please make dua. Let's make dua together, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help them. 
اللهم انصر الاخواننا مسلمين مستضعفين في فلسطين اللهم انصر الاخواننا مسلمين مستضعفين في كل مكان اللهم اغفر لهم وارحمهم وعافه واعف عنهم اللهم ثبت اقدامهم اللهم سدد رميهم اللهم اشف مريضهم اللهم اشف مريضهم اللهم احفظ اطفالهم اللهم احفظ اطفالهم اللهم تقبل شهداءهم اللهم عليك بالظالمين اللهم عليك باليهود المجرمين اللهم عليك باليهود الكافرين اللهم دمرهم وزلزلهم اللهم زحزحهم وزعزحهم يا ذا الجلال والعزة حرر المسلمين في غزة يا ذا الجلال والعزة عزز المسلمين في غزة يا ذا الجلال والعزة عزز المسلمين في غزة وصلى الله تعالى على خير خلقه محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين وقوموا إلى صلاتكم بارك الله فيكم شكرا يا رباه